everyone. It's four o'clock in the morning and I'm going to Salem. Let's do this. So far, Salem's only sign of spooky festivities. Fucking horseshit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's video? Yeah. It's <laughs> Artist Row. I just need to document our twinning, our totally unplanned twin Halloween themed outfits. It's true. This is Salem. This is it. It's cold and rainy and spooky. come to die. <laughs> Made it. Our uh, Airbnb is quite spacious, but also creepily empty, I would say. Oh, this is pretty good. It's supposed to be a moose. It's uh, getting there. It looks like a fucking moose. <laughs> you see it. Like, no. You see it. I see it. I see it. Ah! We're heading back to Salem for the, what are we going to? We're going to the Shockwaves panel for the 30th anniversary of Tales from the Crypt, featuring the voice actor of the Crypt Keeper himself. Yeah, we just um, had a little snack and some drinks and watched some classic Tales from the Crypt. And guys, that show is Isn't good. It's so good. It's a good show. Check it out. It's all on YouTube. You may know us as shockwaves, or two fourths of shockwaves. We know we're right here. Hello. This is a real gory Cooper. A Robert Dedford. And that voice, I could swear it reminded me of someone I know. <laughs> Let's play it. How do we do this? Dead. Now rip your head off and I'll shoot down your fucking throat. You got that, you flea bitten holy bag? Do I make myself clear? suddenly shifted to mean something else. Um, and so, uh, uh, building off of that, I want to move on to the double, which is another term in, in again, kind of horror language, where your, your uncanny fear is placed in a version, an unfamiliar version of what you perceive as yourself. Spider? There's spider. You're forgetting the big one. Well, I kill him the big one. Look at that, dude. Was I joking? Was I joking? I think he looks nice. <laughs> Trying to find parking is a long, but it's wild. It's crazy. I hate it. I hate it. So pro tip for anyone coming to Salem on a weekend in October, um, you gotta, you gotta get there early in the morning because literally every parking spot in the city is taken and there's just like rows and rows of cars looking for places to go like us. Before we uh, look for parking, we have some quaint views of Salem, Massachusetts. That you 
you can't park in front of any of them. Resident parking only, my friends. Everywhere. Everywhere. This is this is a thing. This is a whole ordeal. Update on the parking situation. It only took what hour? Hour and a half. <laughs> but we did find a pretty choice spot. Um, it's a it's a little bit of a walk. However, look at this view. Like beautiful. We don't have the orange resident only signs, and we don't have to pay. So I think I think we won. Maybe. I think we there's won. There's a lot of parking here, um, and there's no signs, but I'm wondering why there's so much parking here. There are no signs that say we can't park here, and it's, I mean, it's a public area. It's like a uh, park and stuff. Um, All right, other people are parking here, so we're, we're... We could ask this person. They're local. No. I, no? I'm scared. Don't wanna? Why not? I'm scared. Just booked a psychic reading, a 15 minute psychic reading at Salem's oldest witch shop. Uh -oh. <laughs> Obviously I'm not gonna like try and record that because I'm not gonna do that. Big but <laughs> yeah. Do it. Oh, this way. Okay, so we just uh, finished watching, here we go, Paranormal Activity for the first time in probably 10 years. Does it hold up is the question I have for you, it's been right? fun. I had fun. Well, you had fun, but does it hold up? Yeah, it holds up. It was good. It was good. What are we seeing next? A Blair Witch. Blair Witch Project. project. <laughs> not, not the remake. The project. The original project. Mm -hmm. It's going to be fun. It's the 20th anniversary showing the Blair Witch Project. Can't wait. We're gonna get possessed. eat again the rest of the day.
wait in line. I need to get a good shot of uh, this shirt. What's going on here? It's a handle opera. <laughs> I prefer eye hand. No, but they're candles. No. We did. Spooky time's over. We're um, in Boston right now. I'm actually staying two extra nights in Boston, so I think I might do like a separate like day in Boston vlog, so you can you guys can come hang out with me for that. But we did. We left Salem today. Um, we spent Friday, Saturday, and Sunday there. Was it everything you hoped it would be? It was dope. It is a it is a strange, beautiful place. It's very macabre. It's very festive. Um, <laughs> It's borderline problematic, but it's yeah. a beautiful place. <laughs> yeah, we had some deep conversations about um, the problems of death-related tourism sometimes. Mm -hmm. But it's also like, I don't know, I'm into that stuff and it's interesting. And also I had some emotional moments. We went to the memorial. The memorial's beautiful. You'll see it probably in the footage. Yeah, but, um, there's a memorial for, you know, all the, the people who were sentenced to death during the witch trials. Each little stone had like flowers and it had crushed salt. And the memorial's right by a graveyard too, which none of them are buried there. You said they're buried outside of Salem, uh, right? A lot of uh, the actual witches. Yeah. Yeah. Witches. Witches, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, a lot of them are in the greater Salem area. Danvers mm -hmm. is where a lot of uh, That's the where actual a lot of the sites. witches lived, but the trials happened in Salem proper, right. which we learned today. When we were there, the, the graveyard was off limits. They closed it, so there's like, the graveyard was empty of all the people that mm -hmm. committed, and then you looked over and you saw the memorial, and it's crowds of people going through, so. Yeah, it was, speaking of crowds, hot damn. <laughs> oh, lots of crowds. Oh, so we many people. Pro tip, we've decided, if you are to ever do the um, Salem in October thing, you do want to go on like a Saturday or a Sunday because that's when everything's out. Like you have all these street vendors and street performers and, and fun activities. Like we did Salem Horror mm -hmm. Fest. Like you do want to go on a weekend, but Asterisk. I, would, I would suggest if you're going to do multiple days, 
start on like a Thursday or Friday because we were we got in on Friday and it was super chill. Like it was also raining. It was raining, yeah. Right. Um, but it was very chill. We were able to find parking fairly easily. It was chill, and so we did not expect the next we day. Had wrong <laughs> expectations. What the rest of the weekend? Were. We were like, yeah, we'll do this tomorrow. We'll do this tomorrow. And then we showed up the next day and lines down the street at everything. It and took us an hour to find parking. So um, my suggestion, if you're doing the Salem thing, would be to go on like a Thursday or Friday, knock out like museums and stuff, the stuff that's up, like always open, like yeah. the Salem Witch Museums and do all that. So on Saturday, you can enjoy more of the festival yes. environment and not have to stand in quite so many lines. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy amounts of people, but really so much fun. Like what a just, all the shops. just a celebration of, of autumn and spooky The whole times. haunted happenings thing is, is so cool. They do mm -hmm. it every year, October to November 1st. It's just the whole month. It brings in so much money for the town. That's an, oh, an insane amount. But um, And so many uh, witch and occult shops. and yeah, like amazing. Witch and I got shop. a psychic reading done at um, the oldest witch shop in America, I think. That's what they were saying. They are saying it's the oldest one. Yeah. So, I don't know. In the... Uh, occult, the witch shop. I got a I got a healing baby, and I I love him. Look how cute he is. We met Enormous Sarah thing. Richards, who um, she is lovely and so sweet and so talented, and she does like spooky art nouveau inspired illustrations. And I think we might have her on the podcast at some point. She's so cool. Her art's incredible. Yeah, I met so her a few good. Times at Comic Con already, and yeah, this art so never ceases to amaze me. So this is her, uh, a book that she illustrated, The Ghost, the Owl. And then I gotta show y'all this pin that's just like perfect. This little bun kissing a little bat. I love him. I love him. Yeah, that's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, and she was so sweet. I was like, let's be best friends forever. What else did we do? So we did Salem Horror Fest, which is did, yeah. showings of the of horror films in Salem mm -hmm. during Haunted Happenings is the Haunted festival Haunted Happenings at large. is the larger city, you know, run thing that's happening. And then Salem Horror Fest is a within the last few years, it's really new where they're trying to make their own festival of uh, both repertory films like we did. We saw a double feature of Paranormal Activity and Blair Witch Project. Oh, that's um, so good. But they are also incorporating festival movies that are in this festival circuit that haven't hit theaters or have been released yet so on the first night um saw shockwaves podcast podcasted live with i forgot his name but the dude who was a crypt keeper from john tales gasser. from the crypt john gasser and it was really fun i really enjoyed that yeah. and they like played clips from the show they like counted down like everyone counted down their top five favorite episodes and then yeah john gasser would just like pop in with a crypt keeper voice all the time right. um it was very cool. yeah it was so fun we did the the Dun Witch Dungeon Museum. There are many witch history museums. There. Many, we, many. We opted to do one because the lines were insane for all of them. So mm -hmm. we did the witch um, museum, the dungeon museum. The, yeah, and that one has like a reenactment of some of the stuff. That and there's a lot of theater reenactments throughout it. Mm -hmm. This one I read and we found out they had used actual transcripts in the react reenactments. The transcripts, my gosh, those are dramatic. They really I are. I'm like, did people really believe it. talk yeah. like that? Drink a lot of pumpkin beer. I drank multiple pumpkin white Russians, which is officially my new favorite cocktail. Like, I wouldn't want to drink them too often because they're incredibly heavy. You know, you got the cream and the Kahlua and the pumpkin, but damn, those gross. were tasty. Yeah, so gross. <laughs> they weren't gross. They were very tasty. Pumpkin milk. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh. <laughs> if, you, if you have a taste for white Russians, it was an amazing version of a white Russian, in my opinion. And if you don't, the pumpkin beer is amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there lots were like, of pumpkin. Lo in like various pumpkin beers. Like this time of year, typically when you go out, you can find like one pumpkin beer. Like everyone's got like one pumpkin beer. But yeah. like if you're in Salem, you have choices. Many, many, many choices. Many choices. Oh, and we did the Satanic Temple today. Yeah. That Ooh. Was very cool. Okay, so we went to the Satanic Temple, which their headquarters is in Salem, Massachusetts. If that sentence 
um, made you uncomfortable in any way or you don't know what to think about that, I urge you to listen to the podcast episode, the Art History Babes podcast episode that we just recorded about the devil because I go into detail about what the Satanic Temple actually is and um, we talk about like the imagery and stuff as well. Also another great resource is a documentary called Hail Satan? Question mark. Um, that is on Hulu. It is so good. I'm just going to stand to bet that if you're unfamiliar, uh, the Satanic Temple is not what you think it is. Um, so look into it. Pretty but close. We had a pretty cool. We had a good time. And relevant art history. We found Degas sketches there. I know, because it's also like a, a, a art gallery. Yeah. And all the art in the gallery is like either has to do with like the devil, Satan, spooky stuff, and then there's just like a, and couple, there's a of, couple of ballerinas. Just a couple of dingos. And then we got to take pictures with the infamous Baphomet statue that I will throw up on the screen right now, which, like, I, that might be my new favorite picture of myself, honestly. If any of you are fans of uh, the chilling adventures of Sabrina, or Sabrina. You know the statue. Yeah, um, the, the main statue at the, what is it, the School of the Dark Arts or whatever, was based on yeah. the Baphomet statue. A um, too much based. Yeah, it was too too based on it because they got in trouble because they didn't give any rights to the artist. And now, if you watch Sabrina, The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, there is credit given to the Satanic Temple <laughs> at the end because of the Baphomet statue. And then also, oh, your favorite. You didn't even mention your favorite thing that we did. What, what was my favorite thing? Oh, the Nightmare Gallery. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. There's this whole exhibit about life-size statues of all the monsters. So it starts in like Universal Monsters, goes even further back with Nosferatu. You've got, and then it goes through basically cinema history and different monsters. And they're just like waxwork figures of them. And it was just rad. It was like walking through seeing all my friends. It was really well curated too yeah. from from a art historical standpoint. So I mean, that's basically what we did. There's so so much more than that. Like. You you could spend a long time, I feel like, in Salem this time of year and not hit everything. Yes. Um, oh, we also did a quick little haunted house. Super quick. Super quick, like five-minute haunted house that spits you out inside a mall. <laughs> that was strange. <laughs> a lot of looks because the last <gasps> bit of the scare is it was like a chainsaw chasing you yeah. out into the mall. And so and you're screaming you're, into a mall. <laughs> and suddenly you're in the middle of a hallway and everyone's like... <laughs> The stuff and then there's tons we didn't even get to do one of these but there are many um different companies that do tours of salem there's like yes. a trolley tour there's night, night tour, tours, there's, tours. Yeah, there's yeah so many different kinds of tours the one i would have really loved to do is an actual like it's it's led by a, a psychic yeah lorelei is her name and so it's actually like a tour of salem by a psychic and that seemed really cool yeah. if you don't have time for uh spooky stuff there's so much other history in in salem it's uh, a lot of pirate of history nathaniel hawthorne there's a lot of nautical history mm. there's it is a strange strange place and why they latched on to witches you know? <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed the, the the vlog enjoyed going on the journey with us and um yeah thanks for thanks for doing salem with me Brian. that's fun that's fun that's thanks for letting me uh take over our history babes for the weekend. Yeah. Now I'm a babe. Yeah, he's honorary now. That's basically how that I works. Made it. <laughs> All right, see you later, guys. Bye.